Hello there, and welcome to story time with Shabazz. My name is Shabazz, and I'm going to tell you a story. So sit down, and shut the fuck up. In an effort to aid my narration, I Brian Fontana has supplied us with some of his incredibly shit, and probably campy gameplay. Anyway, this particular story is one of my childhood favorites, so without further ado, let me tell you the tale of Little Red Riding Whore. Once upon a time, there was a girl who lived in a brothel near the forest. Whenever she made love, she would ride the man's penis until it bled. So everyone who visited the brothel, called her Little Red Riding Whore. One day she asked her pimp daddy if she could go and visit her plastic surgeon as she hadn't had something done in a while and quite fancied having her beef curtains trimmed slightly as they were hanging low like a wizard sleeve. In fact, her genitals were starting to resemble a Big Mac turned on its side. That's a positively spiffing idea her pimp daddy said. Although be very careful. Head straight there, and don't talk to any balding middle-aged men sporting a moustache bigger than their penis. So, little red riding whore began her journey to her plastic surgeon, who for some unknown reason decided to build his surgical practice in the middle of the forest. He probably just did it for the shits and giggles. Although she promised her pimp daddy she would be careful, on her way through the forest she found a box full of dildos, that had probably fallen off a lorry on its way to the dildo shop which also happened to be in the middle of the forest for no apparent reason. Little Red Riding Hall was so busy sampling the dildos that she didn't notice the dark shadow appearing from the forest behind her. Suddenly a wild bum bandit appeared behind her. What are you doing here, you little cock tease? The bum bandit asked in a voice as friendly as he could muster. It was super effective. So the stupid bitch decided to tell this complete stranger exactly where she was going. I'm on my way, to get my beef curtains trimmed, and maybe have my tits done whilst I'm at it. Then she realized how late she was, and quickly excused herself, rushing down the path towards the surgery, leaving the pile of dildos behind, completely covered in her minge juice. The bum bandit, in the meantime, took a shortcut. But not before slipping a few of the used dildos into his bag to masturbate over later. The bum bandit, a little out of breath from driving, arrived at the surgery, and knocked on the door. After realizing that this is a medical practice, and not little red riding horse grandmother's house, he walked inside, and pretended to be a customer waiting for a penis enlargement. The poor plastic surgeon didn't even have time, to inspect the bum bandit's tiny penis, before he gobbled him all up. Okay, so I couldn't be fucked to change that part of the story deal with it. Moments later Red Riding Whore entered the surgery, and was greeted by the bum bandit, who was disguised as a man with a medical license for fondling women's melons. Oh how lovely to see you again, please take a seat, said the bum bandit. When Red Riding Whore sat down, she felt like something was wrong. Your voice sounds different she said. Oh I've just been sucking a lot of cock lately my dear, and my throat is a little sore from all feet deep throating, replied the bum bandit. But you look completely different to how I remember, exclaimed Red Riding Whore. Well maybe you're just retarded, yelled the bum bandit. In fact you're a spitting image of the strange man I met earlier. You even have the same moustache to penis size ratio, screamed Red Riding Whore. Well your mum, is a stupid fat ugly smelly poo head, whispered the bum bandit. Then before the bum bandit could move, Red Riding Whore jumped on top of him, and began to ride his penis whilst gently caressing his body. She bounced up and down on top of him like a majestic seahorse on steroids. She rode him, until his penis started to bleed, and then carried on until it fell off. Then she took his penis in her hand, and started beating him with it. Just as Little Red Riding Hall was about to deal the fatal blow, the bum bandit managed to grab hold of the battle axe that happened to be lying on the floor next to him, that the plastic surgeon used to slice the fat off morbidly obese people. With a firm grip, the bum bandit swung the axe towards Red Riding Hall, but unfortunately only managed to chop off her arm. Red Riding Hall stumbled backwards, still holding on to the bum bandit's penis. As the bum bandit took another swing of his battle axe, Red Riding Hall used her magical powers to turn herself into a gingerbread man, thus dodging the axe's blow, 
feeling nothing but the rush of air as the blade rushed past her head. She burst out the door of the surgical practice and began to skip along the yellow brick road as fast as she could. The now penisless bum bandit began to chase after the gingerbread whore, but remembered that he can run, and run as fast as he can, but he won't catch her, because she's the gingerbread woman. The end. Well I hope you liked that fun little story. My mother always used to read me that bedtime story, just before she'd wank me off. Those were some fun times.